So we're here talking about your film, I Stand Corrected, uh, and I'd just like you to tell me a little bit about it. Uh, how exactly did you find this story? I saw this interview with Jennifer Lydon, and, uh, um, and it was, she, she talked about the paparazzi had been following her because the Hollywood Reporter had just a story on her, and when the interviewer asked why, she said, well, I, you know, been playing music for a long time, and I transitioned um, male to female mm -hmm. um, five years ago, and, uh, you know, the Hollywood Reporter got wind of it, and they did a story, and I was like, back that up, what did you say? <laughs> that, that interested me. I was intrigued, um, just because I had seen her performing on stage, brilliant, brilliant, a uh, bright bass player. And then a couple months later, I saw her again at a holiday party, and I said, you know, I'm really impressed with your playing and I'm intrigued with your story and I'd like to talk to you about you know making a documentary about you. I assured her this would film was really more about her music. You know, I, I really wanted to make a documentary about uh, an extraordinary world class upright bass player who happens to be transgender rather than a transgender person who happens to be a, a musician. I've seen a lot of documentary is about trans people and they're always like just full of angst mm. and first of all it's always about the transition it is always about the transition and so we've seen that story a lot we know we know there's angst we know it's hard for the partners and the family and the parents and the work situation and, and we know everybody has to come to terms with it we know what the doctor visits are like that story has been told and um what I liked about meeting Jennifer is it was five years after she had transitioned, and she was this beautiful, mm -hmm. positive, fun-loving woman. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I didn't have that sense. I was like, oh, so this is what it's like when you get to the other side of the angst, you know? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so I wanted to tell that story. We started filming. I was going to do a short. It was just going to be a short. 20, 30 minutes, we're in, we're out. I was going to cut away. I was going to have do concert footage and cut away to some interview bites and when we did our first day of interviewing her and I learned all these great people she's played with and the and the rich career that she's had in music I was like can't be a short and I gotta go interview all these people mm -hmm. and so that then began the journey a five-year journey of making this film.